What's up guys, today we're heading to Lester's Paradise. Lester's Paradise is located in Piti Takarib, which is north of Trinidad. Basically between Paria Bay and Madama's Bay. You could get there by walking like I'm doing right now, or a short boat ride. Walking to Leicester's Paradise will take you about 6 hours from Blanchichet's. If you choose the boat, it will take you about 30 to 45 minutes to get there. Lester's Paradise is suited at a very remote location amongst the mountains of the Northern Range. It is partially covered by trees, giving it its natural shade. The place is not well known, so relaxing in nature away from the busy life is what you would find here. PT Takarib is not easily accessible by the wider population of Trinidad and Tobago. But it is suitable for different categories of people. Lonely travelers, relaxation getaway lovers, hikers. It is a almost deserted place, even during the high season. Meet Mr. Lester. Mr. Lester is a very welcoming and accommodating person. As you shall see, if you happen to take this experience. So who are you and where are you from? Uh, my name is Lester Freely. I'm originally from Arima. Born and bred in from me. Do you enjoy living here? Well, there's no place better than here. Right. Yeah, there's no place better than living in paradise here. Stressless. <laughs> stress? <laughs> yeah, you have no stress up here. No stress at all at all. What are some of the services that you provide, basically, at Piti Takari? Well, since I'm up here, we have hikers always passing through this part of the, the forest here. And most of the time in the past, sometimes people might be tired. They have a place where they can rest, spend the night. They could get something to eat. They could get water. Because this is the only place between Matlot and Blanishes where they have comfort, I should say. Right. They can relax, eat something, get fresh water to drink. All they have water in the spring and thing, but people who don't know about hiking will hardly drink that. So they'll pick a drink the water by me there. 
to get to know you, drinking that drink water that that for every day. That is your yeah, drink. That, yeah, yeah. There's three cabanas in Petit Akarin. One of them, two of them have three beds in it. And the other have six, six bunks in it. There's flushing toilet, one for the ladies, one for the men. Shower, same thing, one for the ladies, one for the men. And you will enjoy it when you come here. Comfort, peace of mind. So what are some of the experiences people could look forward to whilst visiting your paradise? Well... Or your peace of paradise? Peace of, peace of mind, my peace yeah. of mind. Well, you have things, you can go on hike, you can go to Granta, experience that part of the, of the coastline here, because most people don't know up on the side. You can really if you reach Madamas, that is the next experience, you get a nice little hike. Or you can go down to Paria. Right. Or that people normally like to take, see what the forests look like. Take them out in a walk, guide them for a walk in the forest. When you're in, when you're in Petit Akar, the vibe is to be peaceful in the sense that it's quiet. The moonlight like last night was full moon. The moonlight was beautiful. At least you're seeing, when you're down in Babylon, you're not seeing the stars. At least up here, you can see the whole blanket of stars. The whole sky full of stars. Down to the finest star you can see up here because of, because of where you are. Remember, we have no light to distract here. So things like that. You can look forward you look to, forward to. The night sky. Night sky and peace of mind. Do you provide meals? Yes, I do provide meals, but most of the time, people now, I don't have a grocery up here, so most of the people that come in here, normally either bring their groceries, right? And I will cook the suit, cook for them, or they can cook for themselves because they have everything that they need. Apart from that, who don't want to walk with the groceries and they call, I will provide the necessary things and they just have, just um, hand me for that afterwards. Yeah. Compensation. Compensation, yeah. Uh, compensation, yeah. 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 So, what can you tell us about Piti Takari in general? Well, this area up here, years ago, it had a village and village up here. Oh. Where it had school and it had church. It had living up here. When I say living, I mean living. I can carry on show spots in the forest there where it had houses. How I know that? You see where old latrine hole and, and stack of bottles from ancient, ancient bottles, right? And they used to harvest in those days, have areas in, in Piti Taka, where it's only nutmeg and it have tonka bean. Years ago, they used to harvest those things as spices. But when this life, even copra and all, here they used to um, harvest the copra from up here to make coconut oil. And when that life mash up, everybody just, everything just went abandoned. So most of the people who was living up in this area, for what I understand, went different directions. Some went Blanchard and some went Matlat. That's why most, some people in Blanchard related to, to Matlat, vice versa. But here at church, I can carry on show where part of the altar still standing in the church. What? Yeah. I can show where the school was, the football field flat, level flat. Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had lived here, that small village. Okay, so let me give you a tour around this compound. This area down here is where all the cooking is done. The compound have one kitchen. Two stove, a gas stove and a wood fire. The kitchen has a nice size so everyone could dine together at once. While sitting in the kitchen, 
and waiting on a delicious meal. You can test your skills of art by painting your names in this canvas book. Whenever I come to Lester's Paradise, I am so lucky to meet Mr. Lester now finishing a pot. Up the hill is where the cabins are at. All right, so, so this is one of Lester's tree bed cabin. They have, um, they have lights in the ceiling. When you come in, you use this little device. Press on. No. No. You look out the window, you get a nice view of the sea. Right now, the sea is basically white. So I'm looking outside there. We right on the edge of the sea basically. It has two three bedroom cabin and this one is like a family size cabin. This one over here is like a family size. So this one here is like the main cabin. This one could hold almost an entire family, I guess. So I'll take. Uh, let me show you what inside here. Have. So we we'll got to the remote here. So this is the bathroom area here. Oh, 
Right, so on this side you have the bathroom. Right. Now females. And you have male. So you have two bathrooms. So male and female. Right? So this is inside the bathroom. Right, so we have flush a toilet. Um, yeah, the lights, same thing. Right. Don't waste water here. Right. To get here, you would have to pass through the two blanchishes or matlot. I believe you could also hike through um, Paria. Paria and then come to Paria Bay and maybe hike up to this side. But from Blanchichez to reach here is about nine miles of hiking. You could use the boat as well. Um, from Matlot is 14 miles. Yep. Much more difficult from Matlot's side, much more longer. Through the boat, you could um, you could pay these guys um, 12 to 1500 to go to come here and return, right? <music> What this is for, right. and you have always have it. This is my tonic I normally use, right? I don't take tablets or anything like that. Right. Once someone I take a shot, a shot in it. What it have in it is herbs from the forest here. Herbs like cat claw, wabandi, copper root, uh, marsh root. That is more of ginseng in it, and how scorpion in it too. And the base of it is the well, same function. And you take this every time. You don't really wait till you get sick to be taken. You take this every so often. And you, and you, so it's always been a system. So as I call it, one time this will fight it. And you just top it up again, you take other shot to make sure that you don't really get it. And if you have a fever, a headache, a cold, a snatchy nose, and things like that. Because of this, and yes, I've been taking <laughs> so this is my this is my turn here. Right. Yeah, I'll try that I believe the life I live in up here is the life that everybody souls be living. In the sense that in the sense that you're living in harmony with nature to start with, right? You take what you need and not what you want from the forest, right? And you communicate your, your life, everything, your, your feelings, everything will be different. Different from that being out in Babylon. You can't compare Babylon to, to, to this, this life I'm living in. It's a hard life, not an easy life, but you have to make it good. You have to make it good.